Hey, so in this video I will show you how to make a pate de campagne or country pate um, at home. For the meat side you need pork shoulder, bacon and pork liver. You can also customize it uh, by your own needs but this is like a traditional way. Then uh, as a binder we need a bit of sourdough bread or like old older stale bread, an egg and milk. And then for the spices and herbs I have here fresh thyme and then a mixture of dried cherries and dried cranberries. And here mustard seeds, coriander seeds, peppercorns, allspice, clove and then of course we also need salt and some dessert wine. And yeah, I would say let's start. First of all you need to uh, cut down the meat into chunks which fit into your grinder. Do the same thing also with the liver. And then afterwards you can get the spices into a spice grinder and grind them very finely and then also chop down the thyme very finely and then mix it everything together like the salt and the spices and you can now put this mixture to the meat mixture distribute it evenly and massage it in and then Put it into the freezer for around like one or two hours and then in the meantime you can make the binder you can cut away the crust and then cut the bread into cubes get it into a food processor and then add the milk and also add the egg and then mix it blended together till everything is very well combined. You can now brush the terrine mold uh, with a wet towel. This makes it easier for the next step because you now need to get cling film and put it onto the mold. This can only be used if you cook it later uh, with a sous vide stick. If you want to use the oven method, which is also explained in my article though, you need to skip the cling film because otherwise it will melt. Okay, so next step is to line the terrine mold with bacon. Just put it over the cling film and make sure that it covers the whole bottom and also the sides. And then you can cut it off and put it onto the other side. This way the whole mold should be covered and we can now finally grind the meat. For this I use the coarsest plate because we want to have chunks in the pâté. Uh, if you want to do it finer you can also do it like this but the country pâté typically is a bit like coarser. And yeah, now it's mixing time. We can get the binder into the minced meat. And then also get the cherries and cranberries in and then stir it and mix it together till it's like a very homogeneous mass. It should hold and already bind. As you can see here it's now one complete mass which you can then fill into the terrine mold. Again here make sure that you do not uh, include too many air pockets because otherwise the terrine or the pâté will not look as good. So make sure that you fill it very tightly and also not too full. It should look like this and now you can close it up. For this just um, put the bacon over the mass, push it down and then also put the cling film on top of the bacon. Again, if you're using not the sous vide method, skip this step, skip the cling film and read the description below. Okay, now it's time to cook it. I actually cook it for around two hours at 75 degrees Celsius, which is 167 degrees Fahrenheit in the sous vide cooker. As I said, you can also cook it in the oven um, or in a baking dish on the stove. Um, in all methods, use some chopsticks and put them at the bottom. This way the water can circulate easier um, under the mold and cook it through evenly. Now put the mold into it. Make sure that the water is not overflowing into the terrine mold and let it cook through. Once it is cooked, um, we need to weigh it down um, with a plate and put the terrine in a refrigerator for around 24 hours. It could be that the case 
that um, like in my case as you can see there's liquid overflowing you can also toss it out um, and yeah put it into the refrigerator and then after 24 hours you can get it out turn it over and also remove the cling film and then it's time to cut your pat de campagna it's ready let's get a cross section ah as you can see it is bound nicely uh, you can see the cherries and the cranberries you can see the different um, pieces of meat also the liver I recommend to actually cut it down into pieces and then also serve it with some mustard. And yeah, I would say let's try it out. Wow, it's rich. It's yeah, a bit salty, a bit sweet um, because of the fruits. All in all, it's like a, it's a, yeah, it, it just tastes amazing. I can really recommend it. If you want to try it out at home, um, you can find the whole description as always below in an article. And yeah, if you like the video, leave me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and see you soon. Bye bye.